welcome or welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a new um different crochet i'm actually doing a brainless crochet this time um i see a lot of people doing it and i just want to know how long i can go with doing a braidless crochet i normally don't like to do anything longer than four weeks for any style um i don't think i'm gonna go that long with a braidless one but we'll see so let's just get into the install and then the initial review all right so the hair that i'm going to be using is from the african collection it is the bantu knot 12 inch if you guys can see that and it is the three times more so it basically comes three bundles to a pack and I got a total of four packs however I only undid three I don't think I'm gonna need the fourth one just because this is already one pack so yeah that's the hair details okay so as far as my hair I do have a small twist in the front that is going to be my leave out um, probably until the end of the year if I do a protective style it will be some form where I can leave my edges out I don't want to have to pull them back into anything because I need to give them a rest um, and then I just got four flat twists going straight back and then I have bobby pins to secure those twists. I tried to do a braidless crochet where I just had a ponytail in the back and kind of put hair on top of that. My hair is a little too thick for that and you can clearly tell where the ponytail is. So um, if you can flat twist, I do have flat twists. They're relatively a lot easier to do than the um, corn rolls but I can't just put my hair straight back into a ponytail because it, it didn't work out right. So like I said, I have four chunky twists going straight back and then bobby pins to go on top of that. And that's it. That's all the hair prep that you have to do. So let's just get right into installing the hair. I got a feeling I'm only going to need two packs. I've done all of the back and then most of the middle. So let me show you guys. I have not separated. That's another thing. I haven't separated this hair at all. I kind of like to feel the look of the Bantu knot. So I doubt I separated. I might maybe do it once or twice around here. But since I have my leave out out, I don't know. We'll see. So this is what it looks like after just one pack. Like I said, I am only going to probably only have to use two packs of hair. I used, like I said, I used almost two packs. 
I still have this bundle left over, so almost two packs of hair, but it's pretty full without it, right? I'm glad I didn't separate anything. I never separated any, any in the front. Um, now, if I didn't have any leave out, I probably would, just because when I'm doing the invisible knots, I want them to be smaller, but because I did do um, a leave out, I didn't separate it at all. So, this is the front. I also haven't cut it. Um, I evened it because there were some times when I was pulling them too long, some of the ends. So I did, e you know, cut it to make it even, but that's it. No shaping, no framing, no layering. This is just the hair straight out of the package. So this is the front. This is the side. This is the back. The side. And then the front. So yeah, I like it. Um, what I am going to do, which is what I normally do for most of my um, crochet braid installs, is I'm going to wait a couple of weeks before I actually upload this, um, just simply because I want to be able to be prepared for any answers you guys have working out. Um, I will go down to my apartment swimming pool, so I will test it out to see how it works when it's wet. Um, and kind of give you guys all those answers when you do have questions. So I am trying to be prepared this go around. Um, so yeah, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in my comment box or email them to me. Um, I would say I would try to do an update video, but I don't want to hold myself to that. We'll see. Um, in the meantime and in between time, go out, check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next week. Bye.